Natural monopolies. Natural monopolies face large and continuous economies of scale. They are characterized by high fixed costs of supply, including large scale infrastructure such as cables, pipelines, and networks. If unregulated, they can make excessive supernormal profits, but because they often supply essential public utilities such as water and electricity, they may operate against the public's interest. So, what can be done? One problem of intervention is to avoid duplicating the infrastructure, so opening up to competition is costly and wasteful. It is possible to have the ownership and maintenance of the infrastructure controlled separately from the operating companies, as often happens in the case of railways, gas, and electricity supply. Infrastructure could be owned by a private operator or come under public ownership or public control. However, this can create conflicts of objectives between parts of the industry. For example, operating companies may focus on maximizing returns for shareholders, while the owners of the infrastructure may be more concerned with safety. In the UK, energy companies have been price capped, and although not pure monopolies, they have a large degree of monopoly power. For a regulator, deciding the level of the cap is difficult and setting it too high can force the firm into making losses. In more general terms, regulators can suffer from what is called regulatory capture, where those entrusted to regulate may, perhaps unwittingly, take the side of those it should be regulating. 